now I will be when I am like only three or four long drives, so I don't think it's. So you don't, you just, you can add everything together, right, if yes, you want. Yes, like all the tertiary or all the terminal. Or you have to be careful how you, when you've got the two, when you've got the time and the length. I think you can make a mess, I've made mistakes before where you, you do a double division or something and you end up with a, the number is not the right size. Ah. So we can look at it together. Terminal, all the number of numbers yeah. I don't like sitting in my office just thinking on my own. I always need someone to bounce things off. And we'll go over to the the fridges and we'll start drawing on the fridge our ideas and discussing them and, and for me that's definitely the best way to get ideas instead of having to tag that was it because i was always thinking that um if we're uh if we've got the gamma turk right so right now gfp here uh -huh. and we were using a nanobody essentially to bind it my lab is very interested in something called the microtubule cytoskeleton so microtubules are filaments that exist within cells they have very important roles in cells. They provide forces, pushing forces, pulling forces. And they also provide tracks for other molecules to move along. And specifically, we're interested in how those microtubules are generated within cells, how they're nucleated. And that process is regulated, is catalyzed by a complex called the gamma turk. Neurons are highly complex cells. They, um, they have a, a cell body, but then they extend these very long processes called axons and dendrites. And microtubules need to run all the way through these axons and dendrites. So we are very interested in understanding how the microtubule cytoskeleton within neurons is, is formed, established, and regulated to allow neuronal growth and development. Defects in microtubules have been heavily linked with neuro, neurological diseases, so neurodegenerative diseases and neurodevelopmental diseases. So anything we find out about microtubules in neurons will have some relevance to those human diseases. And also the gamma turk complexes that we, we, we study, they are potential targets for cancer therapy. So in an adult cancer patient, they have mature adult neurons that may not need to uh, make new microtubules. They've already made their microtubules and their stable structure. And so they may not require these gamma turks. So if you inhibit the gamma turk instead of the microtubule, you would kill the cancer cell, but maybe not affect the neuron. I love to be in the lab doing experiments. Obviously, I don't have so much time these days to do as many experiments as I would like, but I think it's very important to be in and around the people in your lab. And yeah, I really enjoy carrying on doing some experiments. Yeah, okay. Have you got enough flies this time? Yeah. You know, I definitely don't want to be one of those supervisors who is off around the world and only speaks to my team every, every month or so. For me, that doesn't work. I want to be there. I want to be in the team. I feel like I'm part of the team. Um, and yeah, regular interaction for me is important. <laughs> All right, cheers guys. Here's to paper and impulse science. Receiving this award is a huge relief because it gives you five years of essentially freedom from having to think about writing grants. I mean, it, the, the funding is sufficient to, to fund a good sized lab for five years. And uh, this makes a huge, huge difference. So yeah, it's absolutely wonderful.